sad. There's nobody coming. <laughs> I didn't see anybody down that way, so it almost sounded like a laugh or something. What the hell is that? There's something there on the ground. Somebody out there? What is this? I don't know why, but I feel like something really, really strange is going on right now. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm being followed. I don't, uh, I don't like this right now. There's a dude in a black robe all the way at the end of the trail there. He just kept going, but I heard something behind me, like somebody walking in the gravel. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Randonautica adventure here on the channel. Um, haven't been really filming too much the last couple of days, just been kind of taking it easy. Um, today would have actually been Brother Frank's 58th birthday. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a little, little strange feeling today, to say the very least, but uh, happy heavenly birthday to Brother Frank TV. And uh, yeah, we are actually planning something next month for him in honor of him. We're going to actually uh, pretty much all get together at this haunted location, um, have dinner together, you know, reminisce about the good times. Um, but yeah, in the meanwhile, I am still here in Canada, probably going to be here for a uh, couple weeks, I think, and then I'm probably hitting the road for a little while again. Um, but in the meanwhile, decided to run an intent, one from you guys. I think it was from a Tiffany. Tiffany, where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? Tiffany Peacock, here it is. So I ran the Intent C3. Haven't used that one in a little while. And uh, I have been to this forest many times before. And it's interesting because it always brings me to the same point for some odd reason. This time, it looks like it's actually taking me a little farther. I have no idea what the hell to expect, what I'm gonna end up finding. Um, but it's been a little while since we've gotten any information regarding C3 and the Visarians. It seems like they've just kind of left me alone all of a sudden. Um, for those of you that don't know what the hell I'm talking about, basically, um, for the last while, I've been basically getting followed by this weird cult, and the dude calls himself Viserion. Uh, they are from Russia, and the guy, I guess, believes that he's Jesus. Don't know what the deal is. It's kind of buggy in here today. I'll probably have to spray myself before heading in. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head towards the point and see if we manage to find anything maybe related to C3. Uh, for those of you that don't know what Randonautica is, it is this weird, crazy, strange app. Um, uh, what is there to say about it? It's it's nuts. Basically, it brings you to a point nearby in your map, and you should find something related to the intent that you've used. Hence the reason why I am heading there now. So, smash the like button, and uh, I guess let's get the adventure started. Okay, so this place is uh, very different in the middle of the day. Uh... Yeah, I don't know why I decided to start out over here. What the hell was that? It's like some... Ew, look at that! Look at that freaking caterpillar! Wow! Living his best life inside of that napkin right now. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like we found something. Uh, not exactly C3 related, but... Yeah, you guys probably remember this place. Been here several times before. And, uh... It looks like it's quite the hike. So it's showing me that it's near this lake. I don't even know if I could really get all the way to the lake, but I guess that is the goal for today, just to see if we can get as close as possible. I hear some people talking or something. What is that? Is it coming from ahead of me? Glad I was actually able to start early today. What the hell is that? There's something right there. Oh. Oh crap. This is the stuff that we found last time. It's literally still here. Holy crap. That was the thing that said, oh, we're family or whatever. Oh crap. You know what's funny? I'm pretty sure that said C3 on it, if I'm not mistaken. 
I was here with Brad, that was quite some time ago, but I'm actually pretty surprised it's still even here. It sounded like somebody was yelling back there, but <laughs> I mean, these are public trails, so people may or may not be on them, who knows. I mean, in the middle of the night, I've never seen anybody apart from, you know, obviously the weirdos. Well, I guess actually I take that back. I guess we have kind of encountered some weird people on this trail in the middle of the night. But we're out here looking for some answers and uh, hopefully we find whatever it is we're looking for. Something's out there. Probably just a squirrel or something. Who knows? Well, so far nothing yet. Let's see up ahead if we uh, end up finding something. Possibly. Possibly not. Who knows? No, nope. let's uh, continue on. We got quite the uh, the hike to conquer at the moment. Also, I did want to say that uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me for merch. Um, I do still have some merch. Um, it does go through Teespring. The link is down in the description below if you want to check it out. Uh, Teespring.com. Exploring with Angela. I have no idea what the actual URL is, but it should be there in the description. And uh, I am going to actually be getting some new merch soon. <clears throat> so I'm probably going to be eliminating this one. It's kind of like the OG merch. I've always had the same merch since I started. Had a couple exclu exclusive lines. What the hell was it? I thought I heard something behind me, but um, yeah, I've always had like this one and like a couple of other different ones, but I am going to probably be doing some new stuff and getting rid of this soon within a month. So if you do want to get it, now's your opportunity, um, but we will have some new stuff. Obviously, probably, you know, before November, before Christmas time. So yeah, if you guys want to look out for that or if you want to get something now, it's up to you. If you don't want to get anything else, that's perfectly fine too, but yeah, thanks a lot for uh, supporting the channel for those of you who did or do want to buy merch. So, yeah, thanks a lot. I just heard something down there. It sounded like something popped. What the hell? Oh, I hear people. Oh, it's probably just some, looks like just hikers and shit. Alrighty. Not a big deal, I suppose. <laughs> it's like the cutest little dog <laughs> yeah just a family just uh walking through <laughs> minding their own business probably was them all right so uh i was just walking through on this trail haven't seen any other people yet but there is something there i don't know what that is i'm just trying to figure out what the easiest way to get there is it looks like a i don't know i just noticed it was very colorful and kind of in a really random spot. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it looks like one of those like abacus. I think that's what they're called. We used to use them to do math. Weird. This is what I noticed as well. So it kind of stood out. I'm like, why is there a little like cup out there? What the hell? May 24th, 1937. Okay, <laughs> not quite sure why this is here, but, uh, strange. I guess I could put it, like, here somewhere. Unless it's, like, a memorial for somebody, I have no idea. Kind of a really strange find. It's very quiet out here. Apart from, like, you know, the traffic up the road. I guess we'll just leave those there. But okay, is there anything else around here? First find of the day, not really seemingly related to much, at least not C3, I suppose. I mean, it looked like my point was pretty far out there, so it is going to take me some time to get there, hence why you guys are probably seeing quite a few cuts, because it could take me like 45 minutes to an hour just to hike to this damn spot. Hopefully it's worth my time. 
But I mean, the day is still young. Still got good good amount of daylight for the time being. I do have my lights just in case. But uh, yeah, I don't see anything else. Just a little bit of mud. What the hell was that? There's nobody coming. <laughs> I didn't see anybody down that way, so it almost sounded like a laugh or something. Hello? Okay. Weird. Lately, the more and more I do this, I always have this feeling like I'm being followed. Oh, bug just slapped me right in the face. But yeah, it always kind of feels like somebody's tracking my movements. And it's pretty obvious somebody probably is. And I'd like for it to stop. But I'm also very curious as to what the hell we keep finding as of late. Alright, well, so far just the abacus and the little cup thing. Um, that seems to be about it so far. I guess we'll keep on moving and uh, see where else we end up. All right, so it looks like we're making it somewhere. This is uh, definitely fresh, new territory for me. I've never made it this far in. <laughs> never seen this boardwalk. Didn't even know it existed, to be honest with you. But uh, making our way through. Hopefully not too long now. Let me double check the maps and see, uh, see how far along we are. Okay, well this is new. So it's telling me I gotta go this way. There's a bunch of different trails, so like we could go that way, this way. I'm hoping that I'm not going in the wrong direction, but I constantly keep hearing somebody talking. But I haven't seen a single person walk through here at all. So I don't know. Like it's very, very quiet. So if anybody does speak, you can hear them quite clearly. Oh, this is pretty cool. This forest, I have to say, is definitely a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> it seems to just keep going and going. So that's, uh, I guess, what we're going to do. See? I keep hearing somebody talk. I don't know if the camera's picking it up at all. Honestly, I have no idea. But all right, let's continue on the adventure. Okay, um, I just located another one of these abacus things. I don't know if this is just like some weird geocaching thing. I have no idea. Um, kind of random. Is there like anything else? I mean, sometimes I do find like weird stuff and I, I wonder to myself, like, is it actually related to... Randonautica, or is it related to something else? Kind of a weird place to leave an abacus, if you ask me. But I don't see anything else. Just two of these so far, and a teacup. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay. I mean, I guess it's better than getting chased by some lunatic. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Alright. Uh... I guess I gotta continue on this way. What is that? I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's like either some weird siren or horn or something. Which direction is it coming from? Sounds like it's kind of coming from there. Alright, maybe if we get a little closer we can figure out what the hell that sound is, but I guess I'll hang on to this for the time being, and I don't really know what to do with it. Maybe I should just leave it there? I mean, if anything, I gotta come back this way anyway, so I can just put it back in its place. Okay, I stopped for a second because I saw a little cute little chipmunk. He ran off, but <laughs> I was trying to get him on camera. Uh, but I did hear a yelp. 
off in this direction. What the hell is that? There's something there on the ground. There's nobody down this way. Again, I still have not seen not even one other hiker as of yet. But what is this? I got something. What the hell? Catcher in the rye. Wait, what? Hang on, let me go back on that path because these bugs are just trying to end my life at the moment. I'm gonna suck my blood. It's like certain words. Yeah, these are all little pages from the catcher in the rye. No kidding, boy. Very serious face. What the fuck? all circled though. Um. Okay. Something was cooking. I don't understand. Probably putting these in the wrong order. It looked like it was in some sort of weird order. Okay, I just heard something. Something sounded like metal. Almost like a metal fence. And just more pages. Oh, we got some more circled stuff here. He was sitting in a big leather chair, all wrapped up in that blanket. And we have Who's That circled. <laughs> like I don't, I don't really understand. Oh, and then we have like things here from the catcher in the room. Something else. What's this one? That one says something different. To my mother. Okay. Just a squirrel. And he's actually coming towards me. Where'd he go? <laughs> okay, maybe that's just what I heard, but I don't see how a squirrel could make like a weird metal noise. Something on this one. Oh crap, I just lost it. Bear with me guys, I only got two hands, you know? The catcher in the rye. Death? I don't understand. What the hell is that supposed to mean? That's it. There's literally just excerpts from The Catcher in the Rye. Which is an amazing book. I did read it years ago. Okay, I don't understand. That's a little, a little bit strange, to say the least. <laughs> uh, wasn't really expecting to catch or to find pieces of The Catcher in the Rye in the middle of a forest. But... You never quite understand. You never quite know, I guess. Um, okay. Well, I don't really see anything else in this area. If I find anything else, I'll uh, let you guys know. But that's kind of weird. I keep hearing people. I don't know where they are, but there's something here. Something on that tree. It looks like a mask or something. And another one of these. So now we have two. What the hell? The hell does that say? Slice here? Okay, that's creepy. There's a whole bunch of like weird marker all over it. Um. Okay. <laughs> and I keep hearing voices. I don't know, we are finding stuff out here. Is there anything else like in this area somewhere? Let's see, let's see if somebody's coming. I 
Nope, nobody. Okay, that's really, really weird. <laughs> so, why is there a mask that's weirdly marked and it says slice here? Like, what the f*** does that mean? I don't understand. That is super weird. And what's up with all of these things? Is there anything else? Nope, just a hell of a lot of forest, but okay. Well, I am supposed to continue down that way, um, but we keep finding random things along the trail. And I'm obviously trying to document everything that I'm finding. No idea what the hell it means. Like, I don't know what the hell this is supposed to mean, but I guess I'll put it back on the tree. Uh, <laughs> just leave this there as well. I don't, I don't know what else to make of it, but... All right. I mean, if you guys know, let me know. I don't know if this is, like, symbolic for something. It's kind of, like, really creepy that it says slice here. Hand-painted. Made in Italy. Oh, wow, I just noticed that. Venezia. That's kind of cool. All right. So, uh, as of late, um, I've tried C3 a few times, because you guys keep suggesting it. I mean, mind you, I'm not really at the point just yet. Um... But it kind of seems like the whole C3, C3 trail has just gone completely cold. Haven't, sound, haven't found a single thing or anything at all related to Bicerians, um, Cameron, C3, Dan, nothing. It's just completely dead for some reason. So, hence the reason why I wanted to try the intent in the first place. Looks like there's a map coming up, so I'll be able to where the hell I am because <laughs> this place is just massive <laughs> I knew it was gonna be a long hike but uh, I think I might have underestimated even that a little bit all right well this is different we got like a gravel road so let's see which way we are supposed to continue okay so I've uh, continued on down the road now it's just gravel trails at this point um, but I think there's another one of those abacus things right there hearing voices again all the way down there it's weird because i have not seen a single person walk through here at all well we definitely got another abacus what's up with these things and there's also this what the heck did i just find I could even open it. <laughs> it's like jammed shut. What the hell? Oh, there you go. Got it. What the f is this? Oh, we got letters. That's weird. What the hell? <laughs> what am I even looking at? Oh, it's an alphabet. You and I hear people like all the way down there. I don't know, but I don't see anybody. Okay, so we got. Oh, what the? F I just realized that. What the hell? One, two, three. Run. That's really weird. People are coming. You know what? I might just take whatever this is and check it out in a little bit. Well, it definitely looks like there's people down there, so I'll continue on because I'm supposed to head in this direction anyways. I'm gonna take that little tin for the. Now, meanwhile, if it is by chance nothing, I'll just put it back, but things are getting a little weird. <laughs> well, it appears we found the lake. It uh, definitely doesn't look too swimmable at the moment, <laughs> so we're going to just avoid that for the time being. Um, finally found some more people, so definitely there are some hikers. But I think this is more like close to an actual entrance, which looks like it's down that way, so. All right, now that we have uh, momentary peace and quiet, um, let's take a look at this. So there is this. Kind of random. There's an S and a W. I'll open that up in a second, see what the hell that's all about. But there's also this. Looks like an old postcard. Definitely an old postcard. Uh, it's says having a nice trip beautiful something and 
country, weather and country, I think it says. Hope you are getting along okay with the situation. Something, I don't know, I might not be reading that right, but here, you guys take a quick look. I don't really know what that says. I can't read cursive all that well, so, um, yeah, you guys let me know down in the comments below what the hell that says, but, yeah, that's kind of random. <laughs> I don't know, what is this even from? Is there a date on here somewhere? Um, I don't know. Let me, oh, 1949, wow, okay. That's pretty freaking old. Okay, what do we have in here? There's like a little baggie. Oh crap, I think I just dropped one. Okay, um, so we got an R, an S, W, a D. Um, an N, an A, looks like there's other letters written on them, well that was just an N, which seems to go along with that. What the hell? I'm trying to figure out what this might spell. And that three random puzzle pieces, a bunch of random screws. It has letters written on the back too. Got a U, an O, and a Y. The only thing I can think of is U. That's really weird. Um, hang on. Oh. Okay, I just I just clued into this because the other thing on here was numbered on the alphabet thing, and it spelt run. And then here, I'm assuming it's supposed to spell out run? Why? What am I running from? This looks like it spells shadow, I guess. Yeah, it literally, that's the only thing I could possibly come up with is shadow run, which is really creepy. Something on the back here of these as well. Um, so we got a C. C O U W I. I don't know. I'm trying to process what this could possibly say but I have no idea um, but it's kind of weird because recently I've been finding these weird things related to shadow something I don't know what the hell it's supposed to mean kind of weird I'm still trying to like process this an I a Y W and an O and a C we got cow we got, I don't know. Is it an E or a W? I'm so confused, guys. I have, I have absolutely no idea, but okay. Um, that was really weird. All right, well, I guess we'll continue on down the road. We're not far now from the point. Also, I kind of really got to pee, to be honest, so I'm hoping to find, like, a bathroom. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to go in a bush <laughs> at this point. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this shadow is. I don't know why I'm being told to run. What am I running from? Um, these are not really, like, you know, self-explanatory clues at this point. But, all right, let's continue. So it was really weird. The entire time I was sitting there, I was hearing people talk, and I just assumed maybe they were, like, fishing, but hear people down there but I don't see anybody down here uh, is there somebody down here or not it literally sounded as if they were just down here no nope, it's a random bench what the f there was literally oh wait there are there is somebody literally right there <sighs> 
Uh, I don't know if they're just fishing or that's kind of strange. If they're not fishing and just kind of standing there, I don't know. I know lately, um, I don't know, this, this app lately just makes me feel paranoid. Like I literally see random people while I'm using this app and I'm just kind of like, oh, what's this person doing? Because you don't know. I've had so many encounters at this point. I mean, sometimes there's just obviously random other people around. That's a given. Um, but other times <laughs> we've run into some really weird, strange people that obviously do not belong. People with knives, people doing weird things. Um, yeah, I, I still don't know what to make of this shadow thing. I kind of feel like, I don't know, I don't want to say it, but maybe I'll talk about it in a little bit. Okay, well, this is starting to get a little confusing. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping to not get lost. I'm also wondering what the heck that blue thing is around the tree. So I'm going to try this trail, because um, that kind of looks like it leads me to where I want to go. The lake was a little underwhelming, to say the least. What is this thing? Looks like some sort of water hose of some sort. There's also something else here. What the hell? Um, what am I looking at? <laughs> says in moonlight's gentle ghostly embrace he creeps and slithers a shadowy trace okay that's really weird after finding that shadow thing with whispers like wind through ancient trees this eerie figure can make you freeze a phantom silent in the dead of night he dances with darkness a chilling sight with eyes that gleam in the special gloom guess his name in this eerie room? What the f***? A sinister presence. A tale untold. Invisible secrets in shadows he'll fold. Now, brave soul, unravel this dread. Who is this figure that fills you with dread? What the f***? This is really friggin' weird. Kinda looks like there's something else here. Looks like it says... It's really hard to make out, but it looks like it says... Oh, it actually shows up better on camera. Moonlight. Gentle wandering, not alone. Scripture of the week. There's like random things kind of scribbled on the back too. All right, well that's pretty freaking weird. Um, <laughs> why is this even here? What the hell was that? Oh man, that scared the crap out of me. something just down there okay that's really weird that I found that and then all of a sudden I heard something like crunch what the hell? all right I'm a little spooked now and it ain't, it ain't even nighttime yet uh that sounded like it was from there. Hello? I know I heard that clear as day. Somebody out there? There ain't nobody here, dude. Nobody that I can see, anyway. But it sounded like it was down there. I don't know. All right, whatever. Um, I guess we'll just keep going and see what the hell happens. We're not far. The point is literally just around this bend at this point. So I don't know what to make of this. I don't know what any of this shadow stuff has to do with C3. Um... But to me, it seemed like, as far as I can recall, all the clues I was finding, this shadow person is like some creepy, I don't know, possible murderer? That's what I was thinking before, because we found all these weird clues, and then I ran into that lunatic person with the freaking mask, and he would, he was holding the knife. Ran into him a couple of times. <sighs> okay. Now I'm getting a little bit nervous. But what the hell does that have to do with C3? It doesn't make any sense. So that's showing me that the uh, 
point is like somewhere down here. Okay, probably just other hikers, but <laughs> still see that hose thing. Where is it connected to? It's so random. It's probably for like people who come through with their horses and stuff. But yeah, it says the point's like literally just right here. I don't know. We made it <laughs> after a good uh, probably about an hour of hiking uphill downhill terrain's not too bad so that's a good good thing to note but yeah this is it this is literally the point as far as I can tell on the maps <laughs> but as you can see there isn't really anything notable here Trying to see if anything stands out. I don't see shit. <laughs> huh. Oh, just another bench. Maybe there's something at the bench. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Nothing. Just a bit of a bit of rubbish here and there. Some tissues and that's it. All right, well, whew, that was interesting. Um, maybe I'll try running another point and see where it brings me nearby. We are slowly running out of daylight. It is now six o'clock, so we probably got maybe an hour. Just so unfortunate, it's so sad that the sun goes down so early now. And, uh, oh well, this is what it is. Oh, someone's coming through. Okay, so just ran another intent. This one is from Scottman4970 on Twitter. Um, he suggested hidden agenda. Now it looks like it's taking me, I don't know, kind of off the beaten trail. It actually looks like there's something marked there that says um, a waterfall. So we'll try and get there. Hopefully we can actually find it because it doesn't look like it's directly on the trail. So it might be a little bit hard to to locate, but we will do our best. So, yeah, let's see what there is. Could have sworn I just heard somebody running through here. What the hell? What is that? It's like some weird, random, like, circle thing. <laughs> I can hear a bunch of people down there. But they sound a little bit farther. It sounded like as if somebody, I guess, ran through there? I don't know. But what is this? What the hell? Boy? Dog? What is this? Looks like it was a part of a Scrabble board or something. What the hell? TH. I'm assuming that probably said shadow, but the rest of the board is freaking missing. Okay, that's really weird. Um, I keep hearing something down there too. Let's just investigate for a second. I literally just heard somebody, clear as day, sounded like they ran down there. This is a uh, Bruce Trail overnight rest area, no destination camping. Please leave no trace. Oh, that's cool. You can actually camp here? Huh. Didn't know that. Weird. I mean, I don't see anybody. So if they ran off into there, I don't know why. But then there's also this. I don't... This symbol looks like something I've seen before. That's weird. I don't know if it's the Vicer. I mean, there's a cross. I don't know if it's like Vicerian related. That's kind of eerie. Um, okay. I mean, is there more of like this board somewhere? 
I mean, I'll hang on to this for the time being, but... That's creepy. Alright, whatever. Um, I'm trying to figure out exactly where to go. I think I have to go that way towards the falls. And like I said, we are running out of light very, very quickly now, so... Gotta get a move on here. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out exactly how to get there, and uh, I was reading up on where these falls are, because it has a name, it's called Terracotta Falls. And it looks like it's on an unmarked trail, where the Vaughn Trail is, where that yellow marker is, which meets the Bruce Trail, which is literally right here. Um, and it's an unmarked trail, so I'm assuming it's down this way, which is kind of uh, spooky, because it's not an actual trail, but you can tell that it's probably been traversed many times. Um, so I guess we'll head on in there and see what the hell's in there. Okay, so that was completely incorrect because <laughs> it literally just did like a loop and led to nowhere. Uh, okay, do I go down this way? I mean, it looks like it's in that direction, but how the hell do I get to it? I guess I'll go a little further down this way and uh, see if there's some sort of unmarked trail down here. There has to be something that can get me there. Okay, so you can hear something. I hear running water, but how in the hell am I going to get down there? <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like this goes down at all. Uh-oh. Well, this is not going to be fun. <laughs> not if I got to go down that thing. Holy moly. Also, look at these freaking tree roots over here. Whoa! That's wild. Completely uprooted. The whole tree just fell. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, I gotta see if we can find like a side trail or something because there's no way, that's super steep. There's no way to get down that. Um, so I started walking down this way because I'm trying to find where this like super secret hidden trail is. <laughs> and then there's that. Oh my God. What the hell? Dude, that's literally like another part of the scrabble board. What the fuck? Oh. Can something there's like part of that symbol again? What the hell? Um Okay. I don't know if this is the right direction. We're running out of daylight. So it's going to be pretty hard to find an unmarked trail here at the moment. And I don't even know if I'm heading in the right direction, to be honest. I mean, it feels right because we're going down, but I don't know. Very weird. some weird noise off in the distance. I don't know what it is. But okay, what is the deal with this? Like... Okay, well... I don't know why, but I feel like something really, really strange is going on right now. And I have no idea what the hell it is. Oh, man. Where's that sound again? It sounds like something's moving out there. I'm telling you, it's weird because down there it sounded like somebody ran off. Of course, I didn't record it, but... What the hell? <laughs> this chipmunk's like freaking beatboxing or something. Okay. Well, I guess I'll continue down this way a little bit and uh, see if we can figure out where the hell we're trying to get to. Looks like it goes much further down. I did go the other way first, but that looked like it just kept going up, so it didn't make any sense. But I guess we're on an adventure for the la for this little uh, last little while. But uh, it's going to be pretty spooky going back because I have a long hike and it is going to be dark. So it is what it is. Not like it's anything I'm not used to at this point. Okay, I just heard something weird as hell down there. It sounded like somebody screamed. Hello? Someone down there? What the hell was that? 
Okay, there is definitely somebody down there. What the hell? Nope, not dealing with this today. I promise to not deal with this crap today. Yeah, there's definitely somebody down there. They yelled twice. I don't know who the hell it is, but all right, well, we're getting the hell out of here. Oh, crap. And also, I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. Anyways, I don't know where the hell this damn trail is. Maybe I'll have to come back another day and see if I can locate where the hell I'm trying to get to. But, like, I don't see anyone down there. What the f***, man? Oh, I'm telling you. Alright, whoever the f***'s down there can f*** off. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm being followed. I don't, uh, I don't like this right now. All right. I might probably just start heading back. Because F that. <sighs> nope. No, thank you. Not today, mother. Not today. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just get out of here. Okay, we are uh, back with the main channel here. So I did end up figuring out where the freaking waterfall was. It was super, super cool. Um, I will leave that as a little side adventure. I did find something there. Have no idea if it's related to Randonautica, but that is where the point was. So if you guys want to see that, go and check out the vlog channel as well, or the second channel, whatever you want to call it, Angebona TV. A-N-G-B-O-N-A TV. I'll leave the link down in the description below. So I was coming back because I had to climb these uh, these stairs to get to it and then find the super little secret trail that basically give, gets you down there, which is where the waterfall is. You can kind of subtly hear it. But upon coming back, I just noticed this. Um, did not notice this when I was coming this way. So this is kind of weird. What is that? <laughs> looks like maybe a shirt or no, nope, looks like a, uh, ew, a pair of shorts. Somebody left their shorts here. What the hell? Why would somebody leave a pair of shorts out here? How did they go back home with no shorts? <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. Um, basically got a freaking long hike back. And, uh, probably gonna run a few more points once I get back to the car. Oh, provided I get there in one piece, because I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take a look at the map and see which way might be faster. Okay, that was really creepy. So I wasn't really paying attention there. I looked up for a second. There was a dude in a black robe all the way at the end of the trail there. Then he just kept going. Oh man. It looked like he was stopped there just waiting for me. That was creepy. Hello? Just be very careful. Who's out there? What the fuck? Well, I don't know if that was the same dude as before. You guys might remember I ran into some weirdo and he, he always wears a black robe. I don't know if it's the same guy every time, but something really, really weird is going on. Gotta be very careful. I do have my knife with me, so that's good. Not completely defenseless, but what the hell, man? I don't see anyone. I don't see a single soul right now. Totally friggin' weird. Where the hell did this dude go? He couldn't have possibly gotten that far. And I know what I saw too. It was not just some dude wearing a black hoodie. He was full on wearing a robe. I know what I saw. It's easy to make out. Oh, 
No idea where the hell this guy went. I know you're out there, I saw you. I'm telling you man, these people, they friggin' follow me for no reason whatsoever. I don't really know what to make of it, but couldn't tell you why. It would be nice to get the hell out of here before the sun goes down, but that's not going to happen. I'm about to get stuck out here in pitch black darkness. Oh boy. This is going to be fun. Okay, I swear I saw the dude again. Also, what the hell? Oh lord, another one of those things. Hey man, I saw you again, dude. Like, come on. Coyotes, okay. It's kind of creepy because the trail does bend towards that direction. And it is about to get super dark and spooky out here. Also, what is this? This is the third one today. I've kept the other two. Arm. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, crap. Okay, I don't remember what the first part said, but... I'm gonna get back to the car as quickly as possible. I'm gonna put these back together and uh, see what I say. But I think there's supposed to be a fourth piece, but I haven't found it yet. This is getting kind of weird. Somebody's going around this place leaving these. Trying to send me a message of some sort. Alrighty. All right, let's just try and get back as quickly as we possibly can. I'm just gonna walk really quickly uh let's just hope ow let's just hope we don't get lost <laughs> okay this is really really creepy so i just got back to this random bench area not a single soul in sight pretty quiet apart from like the cicadas and bugs and stuff and then there is this the fourth part of this board it looks like Something about you hide. I don't really want to waste too much time in here. Uh, something the ream. One, two, three. I don't understand. Um, but looks like I got all four pieces, I think. So once I get back to the car, I'm going to put them all back together and see what the hell is going on here. Because this is just super creepy. What the f*** is that? One down there. Oh man. It's literally the way I have to go. I heard something. It didn't sound like an animal. Weird. Alright, let's get a move on. Okay, so it appears we're not uh, too, too far. Um, what the hell was that? Sound like somebody was laughing. Hello? I don't see anything. Somebody out there? I don't know. Um all right whatever let's just keep going uh so we're just over halfway so it's about to get real dark in here oh i almost tripped uh within like the next 10 minutes or so i swear somebody is back there all right who's back there i was like down there Well, whatever, um, looks like we probably will get there in about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes, I don't know, but, uh, 
I'm, I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous because I know somebody's out here 100%. I saw somebody in that black robe, which was really weird. I don't know. Maybe there was just somebody hiking in a black robe. I don't know what to make of it, but... Okay. I'm just trying not to, like, stop so much because... <laughs> There is still like a little bit of daylight. We can still like make things out. Either way, I do have my O light, so I'm gonna have to probably bust that out in a few minutes. Oh, Alright, who the f is out there? Come on. Okay, let's just get the hell out of here. Let's start moving. Damn it, this terrain sucks for running. <laughs> uh, this way, right? This is the part where the trail starts to look like not a trail anymore. Remain calm. I have a weapon, so we're okay. They just better not come close to me, whoever the f this is. I'm telling you, dude, I'm thinking it's the same guy from last time. Okay. Okay. We're okay. We are a okay. Let's move as quickly as we can. Whew. Okay. Just heard something really loud ahead of me. What the hell was that? Oh. Hello? anything maybe it was just a really fat squirrel just making a really loud noise oh, there's the uh, the boardwalk thing starting to get really creepy out here. Oh damn. <laughs> Ow. Hurt my knee. Yeah, I don't see anything at all. It's like no animals, nothing. Okay, could be nothing, I guess. Okay, I've been walking for, uh, there's a bunch of little frogs everywhere. Just trying not to step on them, but been walking for a good I want to say 20 minutes now and we're getting there probably still got a uh, fair bit left to walk but uh, hearing all sorts of weird noises everywhere and I do apologize for that jangling it's it's actually the ice in my thermos uh, yeah I didn't think it was gonna make that much noise but I don't even know how well the microphones picking it up Ooh, look at that slug Wow okay all the, uh, all the creepy crawlers are coming out now. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I keep hearing, like, things ahead of me. Barking from, I don't know what the hell is out there right now. Oh, look, another little fuzzy caterpillar. Cater caterpillar. <laughs> I remember I said that once in a short, and I got so many comments roasting me. As if I don't know how to say caterpillar. Because they couldn't realize that it was a joke. But, whatever. Not that it was a great joke anyways, but I thought it was funny. Okay. Getting there. Just a little bit more to go, hopefully. Oh, man. Never have I been so happy to see an entrance before. Um, there's only one thing, though. There's some something there. 
What the hell is that? Hello? What am I looking at? Oh man, my legs feel like freaking jello. What the f is this? What the hell? What the hell is this? Okay, this is this has gotten a little too weird. Dude. can place that there. Um, what the hell is this? So it's weird. I know it's probably hard for you guys to see, but it says since 1999. That's really weird. So you guys are going to see on the blog channel, uh, the video that's probably going to be published after this one. I found a picture and it almost had the exact same handwriting as that. Right there. I can't be. What? These cards look super familiar too. Sobriety. My clear mind is easily able to focus and concentrate. What? Since 1999. I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. It looks like there's a whole bunch in here too. At least a good like five or six. This one says I can't be. I thought I heard something. This one says honesty. I am in touch with true feelings regarding this situation. I can't be. What? Okay. You are always. What the hell? Dude, it literally says watched over. What, the what is this? I allow myself to feel safe and enjoy my life, knowing that heaven is watching over my loved ones and me. But it says you are always, and then it says watched over. Dude, like I said, I always feel kind of like I'm being Followed? What the? Dude, this literally says, until you stopped breathing? What? I'm sorry if it's hard to see, guys, but... And it says, health. My prayers for he healing miracles have been heard and answered. This one says, there are none. We wrote, there are none. And then on the back it says boundaries. I am clear and honest with others about my expectations. Okay, what is going on here? And this one says I do. And then it has 2,000 right there. I don't know what this is. It says caring. Heaven cares for me and I keep my heart open to caring about myself others and the world. We got another, it says, we'll try. We'll try, it says patience on the back there. I trust in divine timing. What the heck? There's like a bunch of rose petals or something. Oh, there's something here too. There's like a note in the back here. says, in the moon's eerie glow, I come alive, die, but this is torn in half. Oh, okay, I think I found the other half. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? Uh, put this down here for a second. Why is this torn in half like this? And also, something just bit my damn ankle. 
Ooh, that's itchy. Um, I think it goes like that. In the moon's eerie glow, I come alive. A specter of darkness in shadows. There's shadow again. I dive with whispers so chilling. I'll make your blood run cold. Invisible, elusive, my story never told. A silhouette in corners where the darkness thrives. You'll feel my presence as shivers down your spine drive. I'm neither friend nor foe, just a mystery untold. Who am I, this figure? In secrets, I enfold. Okay, that is like the epitome of this right now. What the fuck? Okay, I gotta get the hell out of here. Uh, that is really weird. I don't know if there's anything else. There's nothing else in here. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna get over this barrier and uh, make my way over to the car. That is really, really creepy. I swear it seems like somebody left this for me. This is the way I came in, the way I came out. There's somebody down there. Hello? Oh, I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. This is too much. I heard something. Kinda nervous because there was one time where there was someone sitting over there on that bench. What the f was that? Okay, now I'm just on edge. Total edge. <sighs> I have no idea what to make of this anymore. Oh, thank God. Okay. Well, we made it. I think I'm gonna probably re relocate somewhere uh, less intimidating. That would be fantastic. So yeah, let's try and do that. <laughs> All right, guys. The uh, I don't know what this camera is focusing on, but the adventure continues. I literally just stopped to eat. Uh, I drove about 15 minutes away from where I was. Um, honestly, I was just looking for something easy. I ended up at Laziz Shawarma. It's all right, <laughs> nothing spectacular, but um, I ran the next intent, which is from Kimmy Cat, and she suggested missing under mysterious circumstances, and it is telling me that it is in like this forest over here. There is a trail, thankfully. Um, thought I heard something, but yeah, let's go down the trail and uh, see what the heck is there. Okay, there we go. It's looking uh, pretty creepy. Uh, it is definitely getting cold already. Winter is coming. She's definitely coming all right. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of mortifying. Imagine, you know, walking down here at 10 o'clock at night all by yourself. Oh, what the? You've got to be kidding me right now. Heard something. What the? Really? Okay, dude, is this like a thing? <laughs> or is something happening right now? What the hell? Also, I was trying to be funny about coming in here alone. But it's not really funny all of a sudden. I don't know. It could just be coincidence. Let's just stay calm for a second. Uh, figure this out. So my point is like pretty far in. Uh, trail looks like it does go for a while, but thankfully the point is not far. What is that? Doggy doo doo? Looks like just a bag or something. I don't know. <sighs> but the weird thing is the fact that we were finding those all day in the other trail. I don't understand. Okay, you gotta be seriously kidding me right now. Another one? 
Dude, give me a break. Okay, this is not a coincidence. There's no way. What the hell? Okay, I think it might just been a shadow from like a hanging branch or something. I thought I saw something down there. Kind of spooked me for a second. Just bear with me, trying to catch my bearings here. Really wish I could have had somebody with me tonight, but unfortunately, uh, my friend Brad was busy. Chad is back home in Connecticut. Some For some reason, some of you guys thought he lives in Canada, but he does not. <laughs> I think the only Canadians are me, Mo, and Aldo, I think. And, well, Brad, of course, as well, but yeah. There's not too many of us. We're a bit of a minority. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm a little bit uh, a little bit perturbed right now with finding those two of them. How many of them are there? What the, what the hell? Oh, we got something. What the hell is that? Oh, you've got to be kidding me right now. This again? It's like a bunch of markings. What? Y I M? I don't know what the hell it's supposed to mean. What the heck is that? Thought I heard something behind me, like somebody walking in the gravel. walked into a giant spider web. That's fantastic. Gotta love it. There's something white on that big giant log over there. What the hell? No way. Okay, something weird is going on here with these. What the f All right, what is this? Like, what is this doing here? What the hell? I'm you? He looks like a... I think it's a V, a C, and an M. I'm so confused. What's down there? Doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Um, there's something there too. What's up with all the random stuff? Like, dude, three of those abacus things, some mirrors. I'm a little concerned because it said I'm you, which, what the f This thing says 1999, what the hell? There was something earlier that said 1999 too. Okay. Yo, isn't that weird? It says 1999 on here too, but that's like printed. What the? Heck? Okay. That is so weird. What are the odds? Hey, dude, what is the meaning of this? I don't understand. Look at all these bugs in here. 
bunch of like potato bugs. And why is it a cow? What is the significance of the cow? I don't understand. Other than, you know, sacred in some religions. Also, what was that noise? I just heard something. Hello? Okay. That looks like it's probably someone's property, I'm guessing. This is getting really spooky. What the hell is that? There's something in there. What is that? Oh, it's like a transformer or something. And not like, you know, the cool kind. It's just like an electrical transformer. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the point wasn't that far in. Cool trail, but really creepy <laughs> at night. Um, I thought I saw something down there. Not like a person or anything. I just thought there was like some object. Or... Let's go take a look. So I am uh, very creeped out. The fact that we found all of those things similar and the same, technically, those three abacuses. I'm pretty sure I found three of them in the last place. It's, uh, it's a little bit mortifying, to be honest with you. Okay. Well, nothing else here. Whoa, look at all this. Dude, this place is big. Wow. Spooky, but it's big oh my god look at that it's like a giant tp looking thing over there let's go check that out i have to double check but this might just about be our point i don't think there's anybody here i don't see anyone anybody here so many damn spider webs though nasty what goes on the face look at this thing holy crap Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Whoa. It's kind of cool, actually. Let's see what's going on in here. Anybody in there? It's kind of creepy, actually. Uh, it's like just a bunch of broken concrete and stuff. A couple of logs. Huh. Wow. Somebody took their time out of their day to build that thing. There's another one here, too. Just heard something. What a weird discovery. <laughs> we got TPs, we got random things all over the frickin' forest. This one was built around a tree. Hmm. Huh the heck's the entrance? Maybe they forgot to build it with an entrance? Is there any other ones? Is that pretty much it? Yeah, they literally did not build it with an entrance, as far as I can tell anyway. This is on this side, but... Pretty cool. Um, yeah, you never know what you're going to freaking find sometimes, but... Okay, uh, I think it's... About that time, we start heading back to the car. Something red right there. What is that? Oh, I think it's just a leaf. <laughs> Literally just a maple leaf. Okay, how the hell did I get in here? I think this way. I keep hearing something down there. It's kind of freaking me out because... Whoever put those things in the other place probably put them here too. So. Alright, 
whatever. I'm gonna start heading back. Um, what the hell? I just heard like a kid's voice. Hello? Okay, now it sounded like it was there. That was weird. The first time I heard it, it sounded like it came from down there. Now it sounds like it's coming from down there. Let's see if we can hear it again. Okay, that was just an animal. What is that? I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on. All right, let's uh, <laughs> start making our way back. Um, I still have those other things. I did not forget about them. Um, the Scrabble board. I have it in the car. I'm going to put it back together and uh, see what the hell the message is on that thing. I am like so confused about this stuff. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on, but I don't know. The night is still young. I'm probably going to continue for a little while. Um, just because it's it's only 9.30, so, uh, might as well just, we're, we're on a roll here, might as well just keep getting more and more of these clues. I'm telling you, like, somebody is clearly going around putting this stuff here, and their clues to something, no idea what the hell to, but we're gonna keep going so we can figure this shit out. Alright guys, so, uh, that was kind of creepy. Um, I basically got out there, got in my car, then all of a sudden this car slowly pulled up behind me. I had already put my camera away at this point. And I'm um, just like, the hell? <laughs> What's this guy want? And uh, then he just kind of kept going and then kind of turned around. It was like a, what do you call it? Like a dead end, like a circle street, whatever. And uh, he just pulled up to the curb, his lights just pointing right at me. And I left, he stayed there. So maybe he just happens to live on that street. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was kind of weird. Um, so I do have the board pieces here. I'm gonna put this bad boy together um, and see what the hell this thing says. Alrighty, let's see here. Alright, so I'm at the uh, first piece. I don't know if this is the top or the bottom. I'm just uh, going based off of what I can see here. Okay, well that's we're getting somewhere. What the hell? Okay, that's creepy as all hell. So it says, the shadow sees all, you cannot hide. That is really weird. And then it's got that symbol. Like, dude, what the hell? So, this is something that's been kind of like on my mind since the last time I did, I think it was the last time I did Randonautica here in Canada. And we had that encounter with that dude in the robe, which I saw a dude in the robe tonight. Um, and he was wearing that long nose mask, what do you call it? The pandemic mask from uh, back, in the, back in the day during the Black Plague. Um, had a couple of encounters with that guy and some encounters with some other people. And I don't know how this person like knows where I'm going and it's really weird. And I'm trying to put everything together, but I think this person calls themselves the shadow. I don't know if this is like some murderer or like serial killer or just some weirdo um, who's just following me everywhere I go. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna turn this thing upside down or backwards, sorry, because clearly it says something on the back too. Um, okay, I got the first piece flipped here. Just trying not to throw the camera accidentally. What the hell? So I'm reading this upside down. It says, hear the scream? What the hell? There's something here too, which I'd really like to know. What does that say? Watch them run? Okay, see, this is what I mean. Like you guys keep asking me sometimes like why I assume it's like some sort of weird serial kill one, two, three. Like what is this even supposed to mean? You got boy and dog. <sighs> Man. This is creepy. And we got arm. 
yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the hell to make this, but watch them run and hear them scream. Like, what the f At first I thought I said hear the scream, but I do realize, yeah, the, my brain is processing the M here. Hear them scream. Like, this is what I mean. So even when we were down uh, in South Carolina, and Chad and I were finding some like weird stuff with some weird symbols. We don't know what the hell that was all about. Um, we kept finding the same notebooks from this Jen person. I have no idea what the connection is. I don't know how and or if this even does connect to C3 and Cameron because that was like the first intent we went with tonight. Haven't had really much of anything on that front as well. Oh man, this stuff is just ridiculous though. So, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know what to make of it. It's just very strange. I'm uh, still kind of like wondering about this Jen person. Um, so I decided to go with missing persons because like I said, I don't know if this person is missing. I don't know who Jen is or what the deal is. Um, I did run the point and that's why I stopped here because there's literally another trail right behind me. So. I'm gonna probably grab my bag and head off in there and see if we can find anything, but I don't know what this is. I got no idea. All I know is I'm very, very confused. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna make a whole series. I'm gonna probably film at least another hour, hour and a half tonight. Um, so it looks like this video is already pretty long. Um, so I'm gonna just basically keep going. And uh, yeah, in the meanwhile, smash the like button. Like I said, if you guys wanna get some merch, feel free. Um, you can support the channel that way if you guys want it. Um, like I said, it's going to be very limited at this point because I am going to be coming out with something new. If you guys want the OG merch, this is basically like, you know, the stuff from when I started. Like, you know, back when I had like maybe 5,000 subscribers. We've come a long way since then, which, uh, thank you so much for that as well. I appreciate all your support. And, uh, yeah, probably do a few more live streams before the end of the month, hopefully. Well, at least maybe one more live stream. I'm not going to say few and then don't end up doing it, but hopefully at least one more live stream so I can hang out with you guys, connect with some of you guys as well. Um, but, yeah, again, smash the like button and uh, you'll see me in part two. Bye.